Revelations 18 and start there and going to 4. Uh -huh. For all nations drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And Read that again, brother. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Right, it's talking about America. And the kings of the earth is talking about the other nations that do business, big, big business with America. Like you have your Arabian, like Saudi Arabia, all right? You have all these different Arabian countries, um, the Asian countries, yep. all right? African countries. In other words, all these leaders of the world. And they do business with this, with this bitch, and they also follow the ways of this bitch. That's why when you watch, when you look at any of the foreign leaders, far, foreign delegates or whatever, they're all dressed up like the so-called white man here in America. They all wear suit and ties. You know, they all cut their, they cut their hair the same way the so-called white man cuts his hair. They cut their beard. A lot of them are so-called Muslims, but they'll cut their beard for the so-called white man. Yep, because he's a uh, prince of this world. Right, he's a prince of this world. And that links up with the scripture we're reading here right now. Go on. Yep. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication, and the kings of the earth have, and the kings, it's like it, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Right. The kings of the earth committed fornication with her. How have they done that? They follow the ways of America. That's why a lot of these countries at one time, for example, at one time their women didn't drive cars. Now they allow women to drive cars. They allow their women to go to school. They don't kill homosexuals anymore. No. Why? Because they drunk the wine of the wrath of this fornication of this bitch right here. That's why... There's no way in hell you can't say this is not talking about America. Because like the scripture say in Job, where and who is he? Who's the devil? Where and who is it? Where and who is he? Alright? Because there's no other nation on this earth that every other nation want to go follow but America. United States. Under the so-called white man. Alright? Go ahead. Let us pass it to me. Yeah. Go ahead, Brother Rito. Yep, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich. All these nations, what's the, and even, uh, and, uh, I'm talking about, in this case here, I'm talking about the peons of these nations. They all come over to America, why? Because they want to get rich, and a lot of them do. They come here, as soon as they come off the boat, as soon as they come off the boat, they get loans. Whereas here, there's you Negroes and Latinos, y'all been here all your lives. And a white man give you a hard time about getting a loan. Oh, your credit, you got bad credit, or or maybe, oh, you don't have any credit at all. Yeah. You see, you never had a credit card, so therefore we can't give you. But wait a minute. Ajab, who just got here from Pakistan, all right? Ajib, who just came off the boat from fucking Pakistan, he can't speak a word of English. And you know what, what we're speaking, I witnessed this. I personally know somebody like this. Dude can't even read or write. Nope. But, got, but he owns a big business. Oh. Selling some goddamn pizza. Some lousy ass pizza. All right? Dude can't even read or write. And this guy, and I, I questioned him, said, wait a minute, dude, you just got, you can't read it. You've been in America for 20 years. You can't even read or write English. You don't understand English. You can't speak it. But yet, you were able to get a loan and open up this big empire you have here. Making all that money. So, so that goes for all these nations. When they come over here, the so-called white man hook them up. Read that part again. For all nations that drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication. And they follow the, that's going into them following the ways of the so-called white man. Go on. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Yeah, they're waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. The top brass of these nations and the lower level. You could be a low, low level gutter rat of a, whatever nation, okay? But when you come to America, you're a prince. Go on. Yep. Now you, if I can say this, you can say, say for the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. What's the delicacies? You got a lot of countries in this earth where they, they're suffering for famine. But America, you come, go right down to Midtown or Times Square. You got restaurants on top of restaurants. 
You got Arabs over there that can't speak a damn lick of English. They got carts out there selling nasty ass pretzels and stinking meat, but making a good good amount of money. You got the Chinamen that come over that open up the stores down there making a good amount of money. Everywhere, every ghetto, you got about a good 10 or 15 number one Chinese restaurants. So they're all getting or wax rich and they send the money back to their countries. Verse 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Right, now this is the Lord speaking to the elect of Israel, the Israelite, the brothers that come back into this thing and believe into it and believe in it. The Lord says, come what? Come up hither. It says, I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Right, because the Lord, our Savior, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior is going to come back in those chariots, which you ignorantly call UFOs, which are the chariots of the Heavenly Father. And that's the same chariots that our Lord and Savior is going to be riding in, and the multitudes upon multitudes of angels. And he says, come up come up out of her, meaning he's going to bring us up. We, what was that? Um, t teleport? Yeah. Or beam me up, Scotty? Yeah. yeah. Which, which they got beam me up, Scotty, on Star Trek from the Bible. Because that's the same way the Lord's going to save his <laughs> elect up out of here. As a matter of fact, uh, what's that, Thessalonians? You know what yep. Thessalonians? And a quick footnote that we always bring out about that said, be me up Scotty. When you look up the word Scotty or the root word of Scott, it literally means black. That's where you get the Scottish people from. Ish meaning man and Scott meaning black. That's why they said, be me up Scotty, because that's the lesser luminaries making mockery of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Mm -hmm. And the angels. Yep. And in order to catch it, you have to be in the know. This is um, 1 Thessalonians 4, I can start, um, 16. It says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Right. Uh, going back to what we were just speaking about, how the Lord's going to come back and save his people. He's going to come back with a shout. In other words, you'll hear that loud trumpet sound, a very loud sound. Well, in other words, you're not just going to see him coming back, you're going to hear it. Now that stupid movie, that lousy ass movie, um, War, those, uh, War of the Worlds yep. with Tom Cruise, they, when those uh, tripods came up, they made a loud blast, like a scary, like a haunting sound. You know? They got the idea to put that there through the Bible, because it says the Lord's going to come back with that shout. With the voice of the archangel. With the voice of the archangels. Go on. And with the trump of God of the Most High. The trump of the Heavenly Father. Now, a bullshit trumpet of man makes a loud sound, right? Yep. Can you imagine the sound of the trumpet of the Heavenly Father himself? So that right there, we can't even explain it to you, but guess what we knew? We won't, you won't know it when we hear it. And another footnote for you, when the arch, it says the archangel, when the angels came, and, and the word angel means message. They gave, when they came down for the message from the Heavenly Father, when most men, even the men of the Lord, when they seen the angel, they damn near fainted or passed out when they was in their right form. They're not soft or weak, beggarly creatures. You got to get that, that image that they, the so-called white man put in your head of a, a white naked baby with little fucking faggot feathers on the back. The angels, yeah, they, they were known to have wings and different faces, but all fierce or, or vicious animals. Some as a man, some as an ox, some as a lion. But they were vicious when they were seen. So when they talk about the archangel, it ain't talking about something soft and delicate. It said when Michael stand up for, the, for his people, for the Lord's people, it's talking about a fierce entity. Then it says, The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High. And the dead of the anointed shall rise first. Right, the brothers that died in this, died known of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and trusting and, and having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, those brothers will be raised up first. Yep. And there's many brothers. Start, you have um, Abba, you have King Masha, all right, Yaikwa, all right, and a host of other brothers, brothers that we don't even know that believed in this thing that probably passed away. Yep. They're gonna, there's, there's innumerable of them, all right? They're going to be raised up first. The reincarnations in the Bible, so Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, those are the fathers of the promise. They're going to receive that promise. That's right. And they have a first-class trip out of here 
just to, just to be glorified in the presence of all our enemies. That's right. Said so then we, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up right. to heaven. Wait a minute, read that again slower. Yep. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High. And the dead in Yahweh shall rise first. Then we which are alive. Then we which are alive. Go on. And remain. And remain. Showing you that what? A lot of people are going to die out here. Yep. That's, that's going back into the remnant. Like when you read in Micah 5 and 7 where it says a remnant. That means a remainder. Because a whole lot too. That's going back to the two thirds. So you got dudes out there that say, oh, you got talking shit about niggas and uh, description. The Bible's saying worse than what we could ever say. Exactly. It's saying they ain't going to be here. <laughs> the only the only ones that's gonna be here are the remainder, which are the elect of Israel. That's right. We which are alive and remain and remain in the faith with of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. Yep. Go on. Shall be caught up together with them. Shall be caught up together with the brothers that passed away in this thing. We're gonna see we're all gonna finally see each other again, man. Tell me as far as the brothers go. Yep. Two thirds of you, we ain't gonna see you until the other side. When you're born as babies all over again. Yeah, yep. The scripture. That's, how, that's how it's going to go down, man. And the scripture said, No man shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, shall they be born again and baptized with fire. Now the elect's being baptized through the spiritual fire and being born again, renewing of their mind. And two-thirds of Israel, as the scripture say in Romans 11 and 26, all Israel shall be saved. So two-thirds that die here, they're going to go through that fire, the nuclear fire, and they're going to be born again in the kingdom of heaven. And see, those are th certain things that only the, the servants of the Lord shall know. Back up, back to the scripture. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. In the clouds, which are the chariots, yep. which you ignorantly call UFOs, which are chariots. Which, to, to say the word UFO is an ignorant statement because the word means unidentified flying object. You can't, you can't identify it. You're ignorant to what it is. Go on. To meet the Lord in the air. To meet him in the air. Oh, you guys are crazy talking about UFOs and stuff. What did the Bible say? We're going to meet our Lord in the air. In them chariots. Which the, which, which the, the prophet translated it as what? The clouds. Yep. Go on. And meet the Lord in the air, so shall we ever be with the Lord Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And that's why we read these scriptures to brothers, because it's to comfort you. Yeah, yep. So it comforts us, all of us. We're being comforted. This is this is the comfort of the Bible, the word of the of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yep, and um, that, that goes. So if you got brothers that pass on or, so to speak, die in this lifetime, you know that they're, they're, they're going into the heavenly tabernacle, and you know that there's no such thing as death. You just leave from one position to another, body a spiritual body and when the Lord come back the Lord said then shall death be conquered and we're never gonna die again so that's why the Lord said comfort each other with these words and then, and then you, you test, your test your faith is gonna be tested but if you know these scriptures that's why the scriptures say knowledge wisdom and understanding shall be the stability of thy times I got a precept for you too Bring. this is Isaiah 26 and 20 come my people Enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, if it were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. Read it again. You, you got it. Yep. It says, come my people. Beautiful. Spirit. First and foremost, we always tell you, first and foremost, that the Lord came for Israel, died for Israel, today, tomorrow, to, yesterday, today, tomorrow. That's why the scripture says, come my people. And that's talking about the elect of his people, Israel, right? Enter thou into thy chambers, because there's certain chariots set up for the, each in the individual prophet. The scripture said, wherever the carcass is, meaning the, the bodies, there shall the eagles be, meaning the chariots. It says, come into thy chamber and shut thy doors about thee. So when you when this destruction or this the Lord's indignation or this nuclear destruction is coming, those that are allowed it, allowed it to be saved out of here are going to be protected by a, a, a sort of like a tractor beam. That no fire could penetrate, no bullet, no weapon. And they're going to be beamed up into the chambers, meaning so-called UFOs. And shut thy doors about thee. 
hide thyself as it were for a little moment. It says hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Even when you watch these documentaries, 